In this video, I'm going to walk through the basics of setting up website retargeting for your campaign. Website retargeting is the only way to market to members who visited your website. For example, if you want to re-engage people who visit a specific product page on your website, then you can do so with retargeting by sending them a personalized sponsored in-mail message or engaging them in the feed with sponsored content when they visit LinkedIn. Let's start by creating a new sponsored content campaign. We'll give it a name. And then choose an update to sponsor. Here on the targeting page, you'll see the ability to set up website retargeting. You can specify the websites from which you want to retarget. In this case, I want to re-engage people who visit our LinkedIn Marketing Solutions blog. I'll start by clicking on Create an Audience to Retarget. First, let's name this segment. This is just for your own reference and is not visible to members. I recommend giving this a specific name so you can easily identify your segments. Next, type in or paste in the URL for the page or pages of your site that you would like to retarget people from. There are three ways you can define which page users are retargeted from. The first option is exact, which will use the exact URL you will enter. Use this only if you have a static URL that doesn't change, or if you never append anything to the end of your URL. LinkedIn will only retarget members who visit that exact URL precisely as you type it in here. For example, linkedin.com slash blog slash LMS would only retarget users from this page and would not retarget users from linkedin.com slash blog or linkedin.com slash blog slash LMS slash anything else. Starts with will retarget any member who visits a landing page that begins with the URL you've entered. So in this case, if I choose starts with, it'll retarget anyone that visits the main LinkedIn Marketing Solutions blog and anywhere on that site that begins with this specific URL string. In this case, linkedin.com slash blog slash LMS. Contains will retarget members on URLs that contain a specific string of characters. So for example, if I enter in the word thank you, then it will retarget members who visit any page on the linkedin.com domain with the string thank dash you anywhere in the URL. After you enter a URL and selected the appropriate rule for your URLs, you can add additional URLs to retarget website visitors from multiple pages. By entering multiple URLs, you can retarget people who visited your blog, for example, or a specific product page on your site. At this time, you cannot retarget users who visit multiple web pages, for example, both the blog and products page. In this example, I want to retarget anyone who either visits anywhere on the LinkedIn Marketing Solutions blog or fills out a form and lands on the thank you page. Once you're done, click save. This will bring up a window with your insight tag, confirming that your retargeting audience has started building. The next step is to install a LinkedIn insight tag. The insight tag is a lightweight piece of JavaScript code that needs to be placed on your website to be able to set up your website retargeting and or conversion tracking. If you've already set up a LinkedIn insight tag on your site, you can skip this step. However, if you haven't yet set up the tag, please follow the directions in Campaign Manager. You can also click the link on the top right hand side of this video to learn how or check the link in the description below. You must set up an insight tag to retarget your website visitors. If you have one but it's associated to another account, go to that account to manage permissions. If you need to learn how to gain access to an insight tag through permissioning, click the link in the top right hand side of the video now or check out the links in the description below. Pause and come back to this video when you've finished installing your tag. A couple things to remember. Make sure your domain appears as verified. Verified means that the tag has been correctly added to your site and is transmitting data back to LinkedIn. If your domain is not appearing as verified after 24 hours, then you may have incorrectly installed the tag. Campaign Manager will not be able to build retargeting audiences until your domain has been verified. Again, check out the videos in the description below for more details. If your domain status appears as not working, that means that the website where you added the tag either no longer exists or LinkedIn has not detected any data coming from this domain within the last 30 days. This is most likely due to a setup error. Campaign Manager will not be able to build retargeting audiences until your domain has been verified. Again, check out the videos in the description below for more details. If your domain status appears as not working, that means that the website where you added the tag either no longer exists or LinkedIn has not detected any data coming from this domain within the last 30 days. This is most likely due to a setup error. 
If you have multiple domains where you want to retarget members, make sure to add them to your insight tag. Be sure you own these domains. You cannot retarget off of websites that you do not own. Once you've set up the insight tag, you can confirm your audience by hovering over tools and then selecting matched audiences. Now that we're back on the retargeting audiences view, you can refresh the page in your browser. You should see the new retargeting audience that you just created appear here. This list typically can take up to 48 hours to build and verify. As you can see, our segment that we've created has already verified. If it appears as verified, it means that the retargeting segment has begun building out that audience. Your audience will continue to grow as LinkedIn matches more members from your website. To change any details or add any additional URLs to your retargeting audience, you can click on View Details at any time and change any details that you need. Let's navigate back to the Audience Selection tab. I'm going to click back. Now, when I type in the name of the retargeting group, it should appear. In this case, we're going to use LinkedIn Marketing Solutions Blog Visitors. As you can see, I can choose it here from the drop-down. From there, you can add in additional demographic targeting criteria like overlaying seniority, job function, or industry, but make sure that you don't target too narrow an audience. 